Yo! Welcome back to another one, guys. And I'm gonna make this introduction extremely short. Sorry about the train. But this is a hunt. One of them that I've been holding on to didn't do very good on killing the old birds. Let me tell you. We only shot like five or six birds, but I used the big camera, the one that you're on right now, I used it a lot. I barely used the GoPro on my head, so the footage is a lot better. It ended up being really entertaining. We have some great time lapses and I show you guys the decoy spread and this video just has a little different vibe to it. I like it. But a little bit of explanation to this video before we get into it. I was manning the big camera like I said, so me calling, I wasn't able to call much at all. So you'll hear that, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. We should have been calling a bunch more. If I would have been able to be on the old horn and three of us going, it would have been a lot better. Wade, this was like his first day on the old spec call, so you'll see that. And uh, yeah, we just needed to be calling a lot more on this deal. If you haven't followed me and Ducks Waterfowl on Instagram, you need to do it right here. Now. Or just wait till after the video. That's probably better. Let's watch the whole video and then go follow me on Instagram and Ducks. But real quickly, before we get into the video, check out the new Freedom shirt. We got that red on navy. Oh, she's so dirty. But this shirt right here, as well as all of our Freedom shirts, they're still on sale through the 4th of July. So I will link this shirt and all the other Freedom shirts down in the description below. Go pick one up and represent Ducks and support the channel. Yeah, boy. I'm wasting no more time. Let's get into it. Enjoy the video. gonna be a little different fellas today we're going with a subscriber we went with this subscriber one time you guys haven't met him his name's Brett the last time we went the first time we went with him things just didn't work out the birds didn't come to the field we're at they stayed across the road wasn't his fault it's just the way hunting goes he found another field I went and scouted it last night with him there's a bunch of birds on it I mean a ton of snows hard to hunt little suckers but we're gonna give it a whack we're gonna put out both A-frame blinds. We're taking eight people. Hopefully get into them today. I am hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. If you guys have it, go get you a duck's beanie. It is cold. Look at this. It is 16 degrees out here. 16 degrees. The wind chill is probably about nine or 10 degrees. It's out of the north at about 10 mile an hour. But look where we're at. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Welcome back to McDonald's. Order when ready. Yeah, I'll take 10 breakfast burritos. Any hot or mild sauce? Hot, please. Anything else? That's it. 1953. Second window, please. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it is cold. As you can tell, guys, check out the ground here. Just frost galore. The ground's extremely cold and we're frosting up. It's been frosting all night long. So what we did is we're waiting to the last minute to put out all the full body decoys. As you can tell, my mouth is froze. We don't want, you don't want frost on the backs of your decoys. And really the only trick we found to, they're, they're still gonna have frost on them. Even when the sun comes up, they'll collect some frost. But the only trick we found to keep the frost off as much as possible is by just waiting to sit them out. If you guys have any tricks about keeping frost off the decoys in these extremely cold conditions, drop a comment down below and let me know. Circles How's that breakfast burrito? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. 
it's cold. I mean, it is nipply out here. We're all set up. We got the spread. Let's check it out. First, let's look where we're hiding. Look at these things, man. Just looks like a big old raggedy bush. We don't have everything in yet. So got a bunch of junk sitting out here, but we got both A-frames blinded up, sat up, done up. Check these bad boys out. Boom. There we go. I got my, look at that, look at that. I got the little Mr. Heater. We're going to be warm today, boys. But as you can see, this is the right side of the decoys here. We've got a north wind. Here is our kill hole. Boom. And then on this side, where the fellas are, is our left flanking wall. But on the left side here, we got our main wall where we got most of the decoys. You can't really see because the it's really blacking it out. But here is the decoy setup. Kill hole right in the center, guys. Boom. But last time we uh he got the field last time. This is our subscriber hunt, buddy. Brett, how's it going? Last time we hunted together, the, the birds landed on the field next to ours. It wasn't his fault, that's just how hunting goes. So hopefully this is gonna be the day for redemption. We're gonna get down on them. Wait, Bobby's standing up. You can shoot him. Why didn't you shoot him? It's a single. What the fuck waiting for him to do? Land in your lap? Shoot him. Do we try him? Yes. Try him. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Nice shot. Here, we on the left. Do it, do it. Take him! Oh, my lord. Got the one on the left, on the right. Man, I shot at the three, too. Well, we got this right speck down. I heard it. Something hit him. Yeah, that first shot hit him. Fork him up. Shoot him if you guys can. Big group. Damn sure. Here we go, boys. <laughs> 
Shoot when you get a chance. Nice. Oh. That boy is dead. <laughs> We had some singles do it really nicely and uh, had that last group do it pretty well. The dog uh, was out and kind of scared him a bit so we dropped like four or five out of that group so I think we're going to start picking up and it's just about over unfortunately. Yep, like I said, didn't shoot very many birds, but I thought the video was entertaining. If you thought the same or if you liked this video, drop me a huge thumbs up right now. And drop a comment down below if you have any suggestions. Like, of course, we should have been calling more. You, I, I'm sure you guys seen it. Drop a comment down below and be like, hey, Bobby, you should have done this or that. Any suggestions you guys have on these hunts, let me know. But I will say that my calling has gotten a ton, ton better over the summer. I was telling you guys I'm going to be working on my calls. I'm going to be working on the new ducks calls that are coming out. Yes, we have goose calls on the way as well as some new duck calls. And let me tell you, they are high, high quality calls. I've been blowing it all summer long. You guys haven't got to see them yet and I'm waiting to show you guys. Beware, these are beautiful calls. My call game has went from here to here on goose calling. I'm not going to lie. So be expecting some goose calling instructionals come up and I'll show you all of our new calls that we're running at ducks and let you guys know when you can pick them up because let me tell you they are sweet and you guys are going to want one. But like I said the freedom shirts let me tell you this is not a 48 hour run so it's up and available but I'd go buy one now because they're on sale. They are fully on sale so pick one up for the 4th of July and help the channel out. We have really been cranking out here at Ducks with the new designs and the keychains, the bottle openers, the koozies, just trying to give you guys cheaper stuff, more stuff, more things that you guys are interested in. And believe me, this season, we are going to just, seriously, we're going to blow your minds. We have so much stuff coming out that I cannot wait to show and tell you guys at all because it is, I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, beautiful stuff. You just wait. You guys will love it. But thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. All my waterfowl hunters out there, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. You know I appreciate all my viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Yeah.